Hi everyone, this is Russ Fagel with the Eastern Iowa Arts Academy and we're going to do a little lesson today that's one of my favorite areas. Uh, anybody that knows me knows that I love, love, love character design. Um, character design is where you get to make your own characters, you design uh, looks and personalities and you can use all the things that you learn in your art education, things like texture, balance, composition, form, shading, color, everything that you use in art can be applied to character design and you pull out this personality of a character uh, and it's a really magical experience. I like it when a drawing tells a story and even when one panel is drawn of a character that you've designed. It conveys a personality and can tell a story uh, and convey a message. So here's our character and it's a classic burglar character. Um, very iconic and uh, a lot of fun. So the first thing we're going to do when we start drawing is I've got a pencil tool, a 6B pencil, which is a soft lead pencil. And you can see there I drew what I call a line of action. Um, that just kind of gives the arc of the center of the character and starting to draw some simple shapes to get some uh, legs under the character so he balances in gravity so he doesn't look like he's about to fall over or that he's floating. Now just simple shapes here and starting to get some context of where I can start putting some detail um, think of it to start you almost are drawing like a potato shape and then you're building detail kind of around that and At this point, I don't know for sure what the character is even gonna be um, there I'm, I'm thinking he's gonna be a chef and I'm making some changes about some different chef hats and then I changed my mind here and decide to make him a little burglar so I put the mask on him and then I've kind of thrown out the idea of him being a, a uh, chef and I put a more of a classic little burglar cap on him and trying to add some quick detail and trying to figure out is he going to be holding something if he's a burglar we want to remember we want to tell a story with our drawing so if he's a burglar, he's gonna be taking something and holding something up. So I'm thinking with the other hand, what's he gonna be holding? And I'm cleaning up the basic shapes, adding some more detail. But that basic oval potato type shape is still present and remains present in the whole drawing. I'm just adding detail around it and underneath it. And the main thing is I've got that shape balanced on the legs of the character so it looks like it's sitting in gravity, that there's weight and form. And here I'm just playing with some different textures, how dark to make the jacket, um, adding some detail into the hands. I put some uh, stubble on his face to kind of give him some more character of a burglar, stereotypical burglar type, and some dark clothing. I'm unsure yet how dark I'm going to make his clothing, but that's part of that story element. Here I'm playing with the leg. The other leg worked, but I decided to have both of his legs stylized and bent, but still supporting the gravity of that character and it, it implies some movement this way, like he's sneaking or he's kind of walking across the room carefully. And here again, I'm experimenting with how dark to make this clothing, whether I want it textural or not. And I decide to just make a nice silhouette of the shape. Now, this is a thing we call staging which is if you can take the character and completely make it into a silhouette, can you still what the character, see what the character's doing or tell what the character is? So I've been conscious of the pose that it's staged properly to where 
if I did fill the whole thing in, I could still tell basically that it's a burglar that's holding something. Now, I decided on that he's gonna be a cake burglar, so I'm drawing a cake, and in the right hand, it would be just like some paper wrapping. So, now I'm just drawing some texture on the ground to give us a sense of the there's ground and that it comes up a little bit it implies that there's some darkness behind him so now i'm just experimenting with some background texture to imply that there's some darkness maybe he's in a dark room but i don't need to fill in the entire thing i can just put some indication of some darkness and some texture sometimes now I'm deciding that was not working so great, so I erased part of it, but note that I left some of it uh, to give almost kind of a woodcut type texture uh, in the background that supports it without being overpowering. Now I'm blocking in some color and laying in some red over top of uh, flesh tone and just trying to decide how much of the red that I want. I like the thought of a red nose there. The background now doesn't need to be a detailed background, but some purple implies, and rather than making it gray or black, the purple's much richer and it indicates kind of a shadow. And that's basically our composition. I use some nice uh, light pastel, bright colors in the cake to contrast from the dark, very dark, character and the other elements around the character and we've got this cake so that's really the focal point and the highlight that kind of makes the thing pop and it works nicely with that abstract purple background and off that iconic dark character so lots of fun go through this again um, make your own character start with those simple shapes and build some detail but make sure that your character is balanced in gravity so it doesn't look like it's going to fall over or that it's floating so let us see what you do uh, at the art academy we are always excited to see the work that students do so send it in we can take a look at it and we'll give you whatever tips we can thanks for watching